I'm Chef Seth. Welcome to Noodles Italian Cafe, your home and my kitchen. Today we're going to be talking about my mama Giulietta's famous stuffed Italian artichoke hearts. And I'm going to show you the Italian stuffed way with fresh herbs and breadcrumbs, garlic, parsley, romano cheese, pecorino romano, a little olive oil, finish it with some butter and some fresh basil, rosemary. It's going to bake in the oven. And then we're going to make a homemade lemon garlic aioli sauce for dipping that artichoke in. So to get started, you need to have a pot of boiling water going. So this is your artichoke, whole artichoke. You've seen the artichoke hearts sold in the stores in the cans. That's this bottom piece. I'm going to show you that at the end. The artichoke is very beneficial for you. There's a lot of fiber in there. There's enzymes in there that'll help carry the bad cholesterol and uh, the poisons and toxins out of your liver. Besides being beneficial, the artichoke really is delicious. It has a slightly nutty, mild flavor, similar to uh, asparagus, broccoli uh, type of vegetable, kind of soft, mellow flavor. You really accentuate it with whatever sauce you eat it with. You're gonna see with the stuff with the breadcrumbs how delicious it is. The edible part of the artichoke is, I'm gonna pull one of these off. This is still raw, so that it's really hard. The edible part of the artichoke is this meat right down here on the leaf. So after it's cooked, we're gonna see how we enjoy it. But the question is, how do you eat the artichoke? Like this, up with the meat, or like this, down? with the meat going that way. Sicily, they say down, where my family's from in Tuscany area, a little northern, started in Calabria, it's up. So I wanna hear your feedback. How do you eat your artichoke, okay? So make sure you leave your comments about that. So first thing we're gonna do is take our artichoke cart. We're gonna cut off the top and the bottom so that it stands up. Down here on the bottom is the heart inside. Cut off the bottom, cut off the top, some of these are a little prickly on the end. If you want a pair of scissors and trim them, you can. These are gonna go right in the water. You wanna fully submerge them. You can put them in either way. They're gonna pop and float. The heaviest part is on the bottom. Put them down. And they're gonna cook for approximately 35 to 45 minutes, depending on the size of the artichoke. The big jumbo ones, about 45 minutes. These medium large ones are about 35 minutes. So we're gonna take a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna do two tablespoons of finely diced white onion. We're gonna get to let those cook a little bit before we add the garlic, because the garlic's gonna cook quicker. Now you can add as much garlic or as little garlic as you like. If my dad was here, he'd put the whole thing, any of you that remember my father. But I'm gonna put, for you at home, two small teaspoons of garlic. Remember, garlic very healthy for you. Don't want to miss that. Two cups of Italian breadcrumbs. We're going to put that in the bowl. Now we're going to take our onions and garlic, mix that in there. You don't have to cook it, but if you do, it softens it up a little bit, releases the flavor, and it's not so strong. Mix this up. Now we need, we need two tablespoons of freshly grated Romano cheese. Those are heaping tablespoons, as you can see. About a tablespoon of uh, fresh chopped parsley. We mix that all up. Okay. We need a quarter cup of olive oil. Two tablespoons of fresh melted butter. Now you can feel free to put whatever you like in here. You could put some diced shrimp, some chicken, some more vegetables and use that as a stuffing for your artichoke heart. You want it to have just a little bit wet consistency and the butter and the olive oil is gonna cause the breadcrumbs to brown up really nicely. And I'm gonna add some fresh chopped basil to the filling. This is called chiffonade. You roll the basil up and you come across and slice it. 35 minutes have passed, the artichokes are done. I'm gonna show you how to test that. You take it out of the water, put it on the plate, take one of these wooden sticks, or you can use a knife at home. You turn it over, you insert it into the bottom, into the heart. If it goes through, it's ready. Also, another way to test it, if the leaf comes right off, it's ready. This is the part that you're gonna eat. 
This is the edible part right here, the, the uh, artichoke meat. You're gonna open it up like this. You're gonna turn it into that beautiful artichoke flour. We have an artichoke mixture that we made. You're gonna take that artichoke, you're gonna put it right there in the bowl, let it cool down a little bit. Take those breadcrumbs, put it on top, work it into there really nice. Go heavy. Get it in there, deep down, you can lift it up, make sure the outer leaves are entrenched with the seasoning. Not rocket science, but it is fun and tasty, let me tell you. Okay, so that is ready to go into the oven. So take it and put it on a metal platter. At home, you probably have different metal platters. Baking dishes are fine, pans or whatever. We're gonna put a little more uh, butter on top. Drizzle just a little bit on there. I like to sprinkle a little bit more Parmesan cheese on there. And you're gonna cook this until it browns up and it's nice and hot for about 10, 15 minutes at 350 degrees. So now that the artichoke's baking in the oven, we got all the ingredients together. Now we're gonna make our sauce. So we're gonna do a lemon garlic aioli. So we're gonna start out with one cup of mayonnaise. In the mayonnaise, we're gonna put three or four roasted garlic cloves. Put that in there. A little bit of crushed garlic, about a half a teaspoon. You don't want it to overpower, be too strong. And then mix that up a little bit. Mash up the garlic. We're gonna take a pinch of cayenne pepper. Juice of one lemon. Careful with the seeds. And I wanna throw a little bit of fresh chopped basil in there. A little color. God gave us lots of colors to use, so let's use them and flavors. So let's check our artichokes now. It's been about 10, 15 minutes. I made two of them, one for me and one for you. Let's dress these on the plate and see how they look. Here we have Mama Julietta's Italian stuffed artichoke heart. Tune in every Wednesday for Noodles recipes, tips, and tricks. And don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel at Chef Seth Berman.